This isn't the one. My gosh. The way it just changes color according to the beat. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Carl Is On It. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the best mods you can buy for the BMW 1 Series. So, for this particular car, this is the BMW E88, this, which is a convertible. You've got the E82, which is a coupe, the E81, which is, I believe, a three door, and the E87 is a five door. So, yes, yeah, so it'll be in relevance to all those cars, really. Um, but in terms of fitment and sort of thing, it might be different. The E82 and E88 are the same platform. The E81 and the E87 are the same as well. So they're hatchbacks, and these are coupes slash convertibles. So, yeah, so I'll start with the front. Let's have a look. So this is the BMW 1 Series E88. So the first best mod I would say you could do for this car, completely, I'll completely transform it right now. It looks absolutely amazing, like black and black, is the black kidney grills. These are the M2 star kidney grills, which gives you the twin spoke blades. And they just absolutely set the car off straight away when you put them on. So um, in comparison to when it was chrome, I'll try and see if I can get a before shot now. And this is what it looks like afterwards. Yeah, so the black M2 kidney grills is snap. Just love it when your phone drops. What's that? Is that crack screen? Oh, great. Oh. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So, next mod is Angel Eyes. These are probably the best mod you could ever do for a BMW. Now, Angel Eyes are literally a signature sign that that is a BMW basically. Now what Angel Eyes are basically, it's these halo rings. So if I could get my keys out. So if once you press the unlock button, you just see the lights glow on. So it's like welcome sort of home light. Well, that's what the doors, but you can see the rings. That is what we call Angel Eyes. And that sets the car off completely as well. And also it comes with projectors too. So if you see that little sort of hollow ball thing that's a projector so what that does is it projects the light in a way that allows it to um, be more clear so as you're driving it's much more safe to drive you can see much more further and it just looks absolutely amazing as well also talking about that the third best mod I would say is Xenon headlight bulbs so it's basically a HID kit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the car on now and turn them on and I'll show you see them come out as blue like that because they're warming up and then they turn to like a crystal white sort of color slash with a hint of blue on it so this is the 6k HID kit which makes it that sort of color also I've gotten there as well if you want to remove now when you install the angel eyes you'd usually have an orange look here but this one here I put on a LED indicator so that's why you can't see an orange look from this side here which is another nice mod too so LED indicators as well and plus LED indicators, you almost, people can't say that you're not indicated, you can't use your indicators as a BMW because that is actually a really, really good mod because it's, you can see what, pretty much everyone can see you indicating and it's just more safer. So yeah, that's another nice mod too. So that's part of safety as well. So yeah. So this is what the LED indicators look like. It's so much brighter, especially at nighttime, you'll see them like extremely, extremely bright. That way people can see it indicate. So yeah, that's another nice one. In fact, speaking of that too, also black sequential side indicators. Now this one has that sort of Audi sort of design with how it just goes in that sort of um that swoosh that swooping motion, which looks absolutely amazing. This is another mod 
that I'd fully recommend to get for your BMW. Now, usually when you have your BMW, it, it's like a sort of crystal clear sort of look, but over time it gets worn, especially with the E chassis that they're over like 10 years old or so, and they do get worn. So fully recommend you to switch them out with these indicators. It just makes your car look much more modern and brings a lot of years back to it. So yeah, that's another mud. Another mud I would say is changing the alloy colors, the color of the alloy wheels to black or to whatever color you like. Personally, I chose black because I wanted to go for a sort of black on black theme. Another mod I would say I fully recommend, especially if you have the E88, is getting this small carbon fiber antenna. Just getting some glare out. You can see the carbon fiber design from there. Absolutely amazing thing this is. And the radio still works as well. Usually your antenna would be like literally all the way up here which is quite ridiculous. Like, imagine you would just see the size difference. So I did a previous video on that already. Um, so go to check that out, so icon there. Um, that's the one I'll recommend to you. Also, if you have the E88 or E82, in fact, even the E81 and E87, but it's, it's not gonna be the same one, a lip spoiler. Now the way it flares and kicks off, comes out really nice, especially with the quad exhaust as well too. It just sets it off too. So that's another nice mod too the lip spoiler it just gives it a bit more of a flare for the car a nice sort of different sort of angle in all corners it's absolutely amazing also another mod is tinting the lights now these were previously extremely sort of red now if this was um, now right now it's really sunny and imagine if you have your lights on or whatever well there's no need to have your lights on but say for instance you're braking it literally looks like you can't really see it whereas now that it's much more it's got like a sort of light small tint it, it gives it a better sort of contrast so you can actually see the brake lights and much better in sunlight and sort of thing so yeah it actually is a pretty nice mod and plus it goes with the black and black theme as well the car so that's the mod as well and there's the leds as well it comes with it too i like the black lines as well but i also like these ones too but when you tint them it comes out better so if this was if this was still standard you would literally still see like a whole red and you won't even see the LED at well so that's another nice mod too another mod I would say for this car now this is personal preference but to me this is physically transformed the way the car drives the way it feels literally everything about it and that is the exhaust system so what this is, I initially went for the 1M sort of style with the exhaust, exhaust tips. It also has underneath a box delete, which means there's a, literally a box that's been removed and replaced with um, stainless steel pipes. So that gives the car a more sort of a grunty sort of sound, a more sort of, shall I say, a more aggressive sort of noise. Um, and it's not overbearingly loud as well. It's a nice sort of, it can be quiet if you want to, if you drive quietly, and it can be like quite aggressive when you put your foot down. So let me show you what it sounds like to those of you that are new to the channel. And also I found out how to make the car burble too. So have a listen to this. literally like a little um the way to make it sort of burble and pop is you hold your, the accelerator so as the car climbs on it on its the revs per minute you let go of it but you hold onto it slightly and then it gives it that like burble sort of noise i'll do that in another video anyway when i'm sort of talking about how what it's like to drive miles per gallon all that sort of thing but yeah that's one of my favorite things about this car when i did that took it to DKU performance and they knew what they're doing and they've done a really amazing job on that so yeah now let's step foot inside the interior now this one is one of my personal favorites as well so let me switch the car on 
Now this one is my personal favourite. So we've got a button right here. It's like the eject button, you click that. And this button activates LED lights underneath the seats. So I've I've installed them in the previous video. I'll show you that. And another eye icon over here. And this is amazing. So if I play my music now, this is a non-copyright, so it should be okay. And you just watch that now and it literally goes and changes the beat according to the beat. Look at that. nice like a nice of uh, night drive sort of thing it just it changes beats and it just like wow it, just, it literally puts a smile on your face also like you can even set the color as well like say friends you don't want to see like party mode you can just set it to whatever color you want so if you're feeling a bit blue leave it blue light blue purple and also red as well <laughs> so yeah, that's another one of my favourite sort of features as well of the car. Um, yeah. This is another one. My gosh. The way it just changes colour according to the beat. Hey! One of my favorite sort of features as well so that's another one as well also just to mention this device here is one of the best mods i've ever installed in the car this is what we call a bmw iDrive android head unit so what you have here you have sat navigation you have bluetooth wi-fi you can connect your device to the internet you can also watch movies as well netflix and chill and also, it's, since it's an Android, there's something called a Play Store. That means you can download so many different apps from Waze, games, all these different things really that you, you'll be able to do on a tablet. So this, this device here is virtually probably the best install I've ever done. There's a previous video I did to that. I'll leave a link to the description to this video. Um, and it's pretty much just fully loaded really with what you can sort of do. I mean, it was just amazing really with what you can actually do with the thing so if your car didn't have like sat navigation for a start and you wanted sat navigation this thing here is pretty much integrated with the car so it pretty much can show you all the information and um, like your revs per minute all that sort of thing really and it's pretty much the best thing you can ever get for your bmw one series to be honest in my personal opinion yeah now another mod i installed was the red start stop button with also a carbon fiber wrapped bezel now this is personal preference really I really like to have like a sort of bright sort of interior as you can see the steering wheel badge was wrapped in red so I matched that and complemented it with the red button also the carbon fiber wrapped bezel and if you like the bright interior go for it we've nearly come to the end of the video now thank you so much for watching everyone I really appreciate all the support I've been getting the likes, subscribes and everything I'm going to be doing a reverse camera install as well and also some amazing more videos coming soon too. So stay tuned for that. I'm now gonna wrap the video with some cinematic shots. Again, thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.